Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be making these glitter jars, calming jars, de-stress, relaxation jars, anxiety free jars, anything you want to call them. Basically the idea of them is when you pick them up and you give it a shake, you see how the glitter inside it is just going wild, it's going so fast and that's kind of to represent if you're in a bit of a state, that's how your mind is, your mind is racing, it's going round and round and round, it's buzzing around so fast, but if you just stare at this for long enough, it all begins to slow down, your mind gets distracted, the glitter slows down and before you know it, it just drops to the bottom and it freezes and that's to represent what your mind will hopefully do by watching it. If you look at this one that I set off at the same time, the glitter has fallen and rested so that is the idea so if you just stare at it and lose yourself in here it's hopefully just going to calm you down so that is the plan so if you want to stay tuned to watch how to make the glitter jars then keep watching the video the first things first the things you're going to want to have to make it is a glass jar this is just a kiln the jar it was one pound fifty from sainsbury's you can use an old jam jar um a mason jar any size any shape as long as it's clear really because obviously you need to see what's inside it you need some food coloring if that's what you want to do i've chosen a blue one because it's one of the most calming colors you need well, I don't know about this, you see. I'm going to do an experiment with you guys in this. Some people have said, do not use glitter glue in it because it ruins it. And some people say, do use glitter glue in it because it makes the glitter calm down and slow down and move more slower when you um, tw tw twist it up and give it a shake. So I bought some just in case. These are just glitter glue pens from Sainsbury's. And I've got a choice of glitters. And I got all these from the 99p store. So they're just different, different colours glitter. It's got a gold, a silver, a purple, a green, a red and a blue. And I think a tray is quite important for this because glitter, we all know glitter goes everywhere, literally. Right, so I've started with my Kilner jar, full of cold tap water, pretty much right to the top. And then I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of glitter at a time because you can put too little in, you can always add more. If you put too much in, you've got a problem because then you're gonna to have to tip it out or just deal with the fact that you've put too much in your your calming jar. We'll call it a calming jar, shall we? Because that's the purpose I'm making it for anyway. Calming, relaxing, chilly outy. Put a bit of gold in. So I'm going to just keep doing that, keep adding bits of glitter and giving it a little stir with my straw and seeing what effect it brings. Once you've done that, the top of your jar will look a little something like this, quite full of glitter. Now, this is the point where you can choose whether to add in any food colouring or not. I'm like really on the fence about this. I half want to, half don't. So what I think I'm going to do is use the other end of the straw, dip it in the tiniest bit and then just go, give it a little shake. And the blue, I can see already in my jar, it's falling down, but it means that I've just got the tiniest bit. I'm gonna pop my lid on, give it a little shake. So it's got a little blue tinge now. Don't know whether you can tell or not. I might add a little bit more. Oh, we've done! We finished adding two. This one had warm water in it, more food colouring, and a bit of the glitter glue that I just squeezed in. This one had cold water, I put the tiniest bit of food colouring in it, and it had no glue. So, I'm going to show you what they're like when you tip them up. You tip it up, and all your glitter falls. I'm going to give it a massive shake. And the same with this one. And you can just see it now. So if I go quite close, you can see it all going crazy. And this one. And then it's just calming. Already. It'll just fall to the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it's given you a little idea of something that you can make yourself and hopefully it'll help you and chill you out, help you, help your kids, help anybody who is in need. 
need of a calm down, a de-stress, or just to get oh, chilled back on a, a level. Thumbs me up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe and do all the things that you know you can do. Let me know if you try it, tweet me pictures, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.